Well, we'll go ahead and get started. Thanks again for everyone for joining. Um, I'm excited for this because it's something that I've been, you know, using and exploring this platform, which I'll introduce. Um, but then when Catherine agreed to uh, kind of do a webinar and a demo and go over everything, I thought that would be really fantastic. Um, is it something I, I found very useful? Um, so what I'm talking about is Educationa, which is a platform that uh, is really holistic, but specifically, you know, was developed with the idea of helping physicians basically to learn about and lower their taxes and, and use the right strategies to keep more of their money because there is just a huge need for this. And that's what Catherine, who has a marketing and business background, essentially recognized um, and then used that to kind of bootstrap and put together this amazing platform with this goal of, of helping physicians. And like I said, it's something that I've used and and kind of got into all the the, the cracks and seams of, and it's been really super helpful. So um, that's why we're all here. Uh, Catherine, I'm going to pass it over to you to kind of introduce yourself and go over um, education on more and kind of everything it has to offer and to, to do some demonstration and then we'll we'll have some time for Q and A and stuff like that afterwards. Awesome, thank you, Jordan. So yeah, as Jordan mentioned, I have a marketing background, and a few years ago, I found myself living in a neighborhood um, with some high income earners, including some a number of physicians, and I found myself um, getting to know them and just realizing how much of a pain point taxes is. And at the same time, I had other members of my family and just people in my life that were very knowledgeable about taxes and very passionate about finding ways to lower taxes. And so that um, converged together. In my mind, I saw the connection of, okay, there is this massive need for these wonderful uh, physicians who are helping and doing so much good in the world um, to, to pay less taxes and just to be able to keep more of what they earn. And just when I heard some of the numbers of how much is taken away. It, it appalled me. And I thought, okay, well, there's got to be a way to, to educate on taxes and to develop um, some ways for these friends of mine to, to learn about tax planning and saving on taxes the way I knew other people did. And so I searched online and I was like, I was actually shocked that in this day and age of technology and information sharing, that nobody has really tackled this problem yet. We've all asked the questions, how come we never learned about taxes in school? Um, it's such a, an opportunity for, um, there, there's this opportunity for this platform out there to be created. And so when it didn't exist, I thought, well, I'm gonna do it. And so um, I'm really into um, taking things that might seem complicated and making them simple and not just simple, but exciting and like, even fun <laughs> in a way. So I'm not your typical numbers person, but I'm really passionate about this product and I'm so excited that you guys are here to join. So I'm going to share my screen and we'll get started. Um, for those of you who maybe didn't see the memo, um, if you we're gonna do a little uh, exercise where if you have your 2023 tax return, um, we're gonna calculate some numbers to help you understand a little bit more about your personal tax situation. So if you don't have that already, feel free to dig that up if you can. And um, that'll, that'll definitely be handy. So let's, without further ado, I believe I've already introduced myself. Um, all right, I'm gonna start off by discussing the average financial plan. Now, first I want to start off by saying that I'm a huge fan of the um, personal finance online landscape that has just blossomed over the last 10 to 15 years. Um, there is so much good being done and so many communities that have been built and information being shared to help people like you um, learn more about finances. And I think there's so much good being done out there. That said, um, I've spent time on many platforms and I believe there's a major missing piece, um, but we're gonna go into the average financial tax plan. And basically it comes down to advice that boils down to let's raise your income and lower your spending. And it really is simple and it seems 
like and completely simple, but if you're here, I know you know that it's true. And this really is the truth when it comes to a solid plan. It's just increasing your income and lowering your spending. Um, however, I know that there's a lot of people that are doing their best and working their hardest to do these two things. Yeah, a lot of people remain stuck in what I call the 40, 50, 40. You're working 40 hours a week or more for 50 weeks a year for about 40 years of your life. Uh, so why? Like, why is that such a struggle and how can we solve that? Well, my good news for you is that there's more than just two pieces to a financial plan, or at least there should be. And that missing piece is lowering your taxes. And so that's what we're here to do. And it is such a simple thing and it's really not that hard. And if people uh, understood things a little bit better, they would do it. And it's literally more money in your pocket. There's this like fear and stigma around taxes. And I believe that the fear comes from a lack of knowledge, a lack of education on the, on the product on the topic. Um, so real quick, I'm going to walk through what I believe to be the sure way to financial freedom. Now, there are ways to increase income um, through investments, but none of that is actually sure. Taxes, on the other hand, are sure. Those have been written into law. Um, when you look retroactively at taxes, they're not changing. As long as you do the math correctly, you're bound to save money if you know what to do. So when we lower our taxes, that's more money. That more money can then be invested into uh, some passive income. There's also money to be saved by lowering spending. Um, and as time goes on and each year goes by and we save more on our taxes and put more into our passive investments, we that money just makes money on itself. And eventually we get to the point where you're financially free. And this is where total life satisfaction just comes into play and life is your playground. This is the, the plan and this is what is available for everyone. And uh, this is all because of taxes. So whatever you're doing to increase that income and decrease your spending, if you just add one more element, you can get the life that you want. Okay. So now we're going to dive into what I have called an annual tax checkup. So I believe that everyone should be really familiar with their tax situation, even though a lot of people don't like to think about it. It's kind of just accepted as this necessary evil and people you know, are forced to think about it once a year around April. Um, but then a lot of times they just kind of bury it away and leave it alone. Well, just like we should have an annual physical, um, I think it's important to perform an annual tax checkup. So if you've got those tax documents, pull them out. I also um, have a worksheet that I can um, I can share. So if you miss any of this, we can email this out um, in a worksheet later on. And real fast, I just want you to think about how much did you pay in taxes last year? If you don't know the answer to this, well, you need to know because it's really important. And if you think you know, let's find out how accurate you are because the IRS does a really good job of showing your taxes in different places. And what you think is the total number might not actually be the total number. So if you've got, um, we're gonna use three documents today. One is your latest federal tax return, which is form 1040 your latest wage statement, W-2, and then your latest state return, if you have one. Um, and that form number is going to vary depending on where you reside. Okay, so we're going to start out by looking for four essential tax numbers. I'm going to tell you exactly where to find them. And let's go. So first, we're going to look for your income as reported on your 1040. So this can be found. I've circled in red, found on page one, line nine. So if you can find that number, jot it down on a piece of paper or a Word document and write down the word income next to it. That's your income. Next, we're going to look for your federal tax. This is also found on the 1040 form. You're going to go to page two, line 24. This is your total tax paid to the federal government. 
Okay, so write that number down and the name federal tax next to it. Next, we're gonna move on to your payroll tax. So if you have a W-2, you're gonna, this requires a little bit of addition. We're gonna take lines four and line six, add those two numbers together. That's your payroll tax. A lot of people forget to think of this as taxes, but it's it's there. And next, we're gonna look for your state income tax. Again, this is gonna vary depending on what state you're from, but look for the words total tax. If you've got these documents electronically, you can do a control F, search for total tax. Um, I've just shown an example. If you happen to be from California, it's gonna be on form 540, page three, line 64. Um, otherwise just search for your total tax, kind of towards the end of the front pages of summary. Okay, so now that we've got these four essential tax numbers, your income, your federal tax, your payroll tax, and your state income tax, we're gonna find uh, three really important indicators of your tax situation. Okay, so first we're gonna calculate your total taxes paid. So I want you to take those three tax numbers, federal tax, payroll tax, state income tax, and add them all together. This is your total taxes paid. Okay, and I understand that this might sting a little and my tax team at Educationa that is so passionate about helping people save money on taxes really wanted me to point out that this also does not include your employer payroll taxes, which is paid by your employer on behalf of you, in which if they didn't have to pay that, you would, receive more income. Um, it also doesn't include sales tax, property tax, and other license fees and everything. Um, so this is your total taxes paid. Next, we're gonna calculate your real income. So I want you to take your income and subtract that number that we just found. And I believe that this calculation can also be another reason why people don't love to think about taxes. Uh, rightly so, um, people, have an income number which they've worked hard for and they feel proud of. And when you actually think about what your real income is when taxes are taken away, it can sting a little, it doesn't feel too good. And the next one is my favorite indicator of your current tax situation. And I want you to take that real income number and divide it by your income as reported on your tax return. And this is the percentage free you are. So this can be thought of in terms of your time or obviously your money, um, but this is pretty significant. Now I've created a summary page. If anybody um, wasn't able to follow along or didn't have your documents, you can take a screenshot of this. Um, and then I've also pulled up an example to share. So if you take an individual who has a $500,000 W-2 salary, say they're married, living in California, they would have an income of $500,000 on this, um, their total taxes, sorry, let me move my screen a little. Um, so their total taxes paid would be $171,000 making their real income just 320,000 and the percentage free 65%. So this would mean that for four years out of the year, for four months, excuse me, out of the year, they're, they're working for free. Now you can call it pro bono work. You can call it charity. Uh, you can call it for servitude. I mean, whatever you want to think of it, uh, it's, it's real. And, um, I, if there's anything I can get across today, it's that this doesn't need to be accepted. There are um, a lot of things that I've seen online to reduce your taxes and, you know, kind of like make the most of your situation. Um, but what I want to offer you today is proactive ways to significantly reduce your taxes um, in a way that's not complicated and it's easy for you. So it's okay if these numbers are shocking or surprising to you or just kind of make your stomach churn or make you make a funny face, it's okay. 
So I want to help you answer the question, how can I lower my taxes starting today? So um, I'm going to go ahead and share with you our most popular tax strategy. And this is the way educational works is we've got a lot of programs and uh, resources, some smaller tips, but um, today we're gonna focus in on one of our bigger, most popular programs for how to lower your taxes. And I could sit here today and give you a broad overview of like a number of different ways to sell, save on taxes, um, but then I don't think anything really gets done. So what I'm passionate about is taking you step-by-step step through this process in a way that's really easy for you to understand. And the way our uh, content is published is a week at a time. And I feel that's a good way for someone to gain a tax education. I don't want to spit it all at you all at once, you know, in an article once a year. I want you to build your education one step at a time. So this strategy is called live your S life. Now I'll walk you through this and you'll um, learn what the S is there for. Um, it also rhymes with best. So we want you to live your best life by living your S life. Um, internally, we call this our golden ticket strategy. It's such a good one. It's kind of the launch pad for a lot of other tax strategies. And it's something that is applicable to everyone. And it's can just, it's the most bang for your buck, basically, with the effort that it takes to set this up, the return is, is awesome. And the more income you make, the more you can save using this tax strategy. So essentially, there's four ways to save on tax. You can lower your taxable income, increase adjustments, increase deductions, and increase credits. By far, the best way to lower your taxes of these four is to lower your taxable income. And the best way to lower your taxable income, if you don't know already, have your own business. Um, so there's a financial blogger you may have heard of who uh, has said the following quote, I have owned a business on the side for the last few years. Every year, I become more and more thankful that I do. In fact, it has gotten to the point where I think everyone ought to own their own business. There are so many awesome benefits and such little downside that if you don't yet own a business, you should seriously consider starting one. So if there's anyone out there who does own a business, I'm sure you can attest to that. I'm sure Jordan can nod his head and understand the benefits to this. And if it seems overwhelming, like, well, I don't really want to own a business. That's why we're here is to walk you through it and realize that it's really not that hard. Um, it's a win-win. So like, ultimately you end up with more money no matter how the business plays out. Uh, oh, we're going to walk through that. So uh, yeah, basically, if if your business is successful, you generate more income, which is more money for you. If your business is unsuccessful, then you report a loss. And through the benefit of deductions, you pay less in taxes. So the reason we call this live your S life is because the best, easiest, most common way to have your own business is by setting up either a sole proprietorship or an S corporation. So a lot of people automatically turn to LLC, um, but we're going to direct you towards a sole prop or an S corp. Now, okay, start your own business. You're like, great, Catherine. Like, what am I supposed to do? Um, the best advice I can give you for starting a business and what type of business to start, and that's my goal today, is to have you leaving this webinar with a business idea that you feel excited about and that works for you. That's not going to take up a ton of time, but it's going to be legitimate for your needs and for your financial benefit. Um, number one, spread your passion. So basically think about what is it that you spend time doing outside of work and just keep doing it. I've listed some options, but there are so many ideas out there. And this can be something that either you or your spouse um, does and just turn it into a business. So if there's anything like this that kind of has a light bulb moment go off in your mind, just take it and run with it. Another option for starting a business is to document your life. In this day and age, this is a legitimate business opportunity, business idea, and uh, people do it 
And you can actually choose the level of privacy or anonymity that you want. A lot of people are doing more faceless documenting. And I just am throwing this out there as a business uh, op opportunity, a business idea for you to go through. Um, thirdly, there's an option where you can sell stuff for commission. So there's lots of things out there that offer commission, um, including our product, Educationa. And it's a great way to just have a business enabling you to deduct expenses. And that's where we get to this point, which is what makes this such an amazing tax strategy is deducting expenses. W-2 employees are very limited in the expenses that they can take on their tax return. Most can deduct nothing. On the contrary, business owners can take many expenses. And this is a list of expenses that business owners can take. And as you can see, a lot of these are things that are probably um, being taken by many as personal expenses. When you think of rent and telephone and travel and um, vehicle use, there's a lot of expenses that we take in our everyday life. Um, and so there's this huge opportunity to to take these expenses that were previously personal and turn them into business expenses. I've summed it up right here that consistently running a business enables the conversion of many expenses once considered personal and non-deductible into deductible business write-offs. And that is the, the sweet sauce of this, of this strategy. And, uh, so I've left you, I'm just going to wrap up. This is the end of our lesson. And this is kind of how our platform works. Um, is that I want you to leave each lesson each week with an action of moving forward. And for any of you who still aren't sure on a business idea, I've got another worksheet. We've got another helpful resource that can help you determine the best business for you. And by the end of this worksheet, you'll be on the ground running. Now, a little overview. So I've given you the first lesson of our Live Your S Life program. This is one of 12 lessons. And this is what would be included in an education and membership. Uh, and this is just as part of the S Life strategy. There's lots of other strategies and programs and content that offer benefits as well. But I wanted you to understand that uh, today's presentation was an intro to the Live Your S Life program, why it's so important, why it's so beneficial for you, and hopefully a way for you to select a business that you can do. The next lesson would go into which S is best, either that sole prop or that S corp, and determining which is best for you. Now, the next part three goes into how to step-by-step -step create that sole prop or that S corp. Um, we've gone into it with tons of tutorial videos on this one that will have you setting up your own business in probably about an hour's time. Um, there's, I just the other day, I was looking over like a tax preparer's website and there's one element of starting a business called BOI. We've got a file of BOI and this person wanted to charge, I think it was $650 to file a BOI report on the behalf of clients. And I thought, wow, I made a two minute video on that that can be done in 20 minutes and it's really not hard. So there's a ton of value here um, to enable you guys to maximize your tax situation and, and just keep a lot more money. Um, going down the list, um, learn how to never pay sales tax on your business vehicles, um, how to identify direct expenses, creating an accountable plan, understanding and deducting home office and vehicle expenses. Then we get into things like adding your kids to the payroll, retirement plans for children, ensuring hobby loss compliance, and preparing your annual tax return. So if you're here and you already have a business, um, are you doing all of these things? And if you don't currently own a business, there is so much there to help you on your taxes. These are real tax savings and it's real money. And I just can't iterate enough how 
much can be saved on taxes and how it's not complicated. Um, education it helps you get there. So just a quick another overview on what education is. It's a membership that teaches the best, most effective tax strategies and helps you implement them. So we provide weekly content, programs, guides, and resources that cover the areas of tax. But also, as Jordan mentioned, it's a more holistic approach where we um, address topics like body, mindset, and wealth. You know, there are other just kind of life hacks and wealth hacks, ways to save money without sacrifice, uh, ways to uh, think about finances, think about taxes, um, and then also just ways to improve your overall well-being um, through the physical body as well. So uh, education is also a community of learners on the path to intergenerational wealth, and we're built with results in mind. Um, for $19.99 a year, this is a steal when it comes to the return on investment that you're going to get. Um, I've seen stocks that, you know, maybe they'll double in a year, and that's like insane success there'll be news coverage like day and night about certain stocks that will do that um for your for this group and for this income level um two thousand dollars a year is an investment that's likely going to pay 300 400 even 500 percent returns or more and that's just in the first year um these strategies can then be implemented every single year after that and like I mentioned, they can be built upon. So I just want to give you the path to tackle tax education. There is so much to be gained by really just getting a full comprehensive grasp on taxes. And that's what education does. Uh, I've given you a sneak peek onto kind of how we operate. And if you're wondering, well, what else do you do when it comes to understanding taxes? We do everything. And I didn't want to throw the whole book at you because I hate that feeling of overwhelm. I wanted to explain how this is built step by step, brick by brick, and we're on a mission to help you and help others pay a lot less in taxes. Um, some good news for this crowd right here is I've created a coupon code for $100 off. It's good until Thursday at midnight. And if you use the code PRUDENT100, you'll get $100 off your annual membership. And this will stick with you for the lifetime of your membership as well. So anytime it renews, you'll it'll also include uh, that $100 off. And that's a really good get. Um, this is, like I mentioned in the beginning, this is a product that I'm surprised that it doesn't exist. And in three to five years, I definitely see a lot of competitors entering this landscape. So um, be, be there, be the first, be there to lower your taxes and to take advantage of this knowledge that, that we're offering you. Um, I had shared a quote that Jordan said actually um, in one of his articles about a year ago, which was just the importance of education. And I think you guys understand that education is probably the best investment that you can make. Um, and when it comes to taxes, whether you seek the assistance of a professional to help you with the implementation of things or whether you're gonna do it yourself, you still need to be educated. You need to know what it is that's available to you so you can know what you're missing. You know your personal situation best and an education is, the best way to capitalize on on lower taxes and ultimately great wealth for you and your children and generations to come. Um, we've created this um, explanation of how we operate. So I mentioned that we are, you know, take a holistic approach to wealth. And as you can see, starting at the bottom, um, there's a foundation that can be set through health and mindset. And through core knowledge principles, your body and mind will be armed with a solid foundation upon which to build your sure financial plan. Moving up, then we tackle tax minimization. And once you have a solid hold on that, you'll start be being dripped content and uh, programs on spending and retirement. 
This will then turn into more topics that have to do with investment growth, then getting into wealth planning with the ultimate goal of multi-generational permanent prosperity. So we we are here with you for the long haul. Taxes is our core flagship program because it's just the best return on investment. It's the easiest way to, to make this worth your while. But ultimately, there's so much there for you that we want to help with in terms of gaining that permanent prosperity. Um, my team has done so much work, especially the tax team, uh, to create the materials that we're offering. Um, there were so much time spent scouring tax books. And as you can imagine, something that most people would find very painstaking and boring, um, but they've been happy and passionate to do it. And we've created this product where about 98% of the work has been done for you. It's, it's that hard work of finding the strategies that are important and that apply to most people and then boiling them down into easy to understand and easy to implement content that can be digested and consumed at your speed. Um, so you just got to do that final push and just kind of help us help you um, gain this prosperity in your life. Um, as I mentioned, this live your S life is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more available on um, Education. Uh, let's see what else. Okay. So this slide points out um, what education can help you achieve. So right now, which can benefit you, it's more money now with a significantly lower tax bill each year. Um, beyond that, though, um, there are benefits for your children. We can help you fully fund your children's college and retirement while writing off the contributions. And then beyond that, this goes through the generations, compound and control your wealth through the generations. Um, this is it. This is it. And there's so much available for you. Um, lastly, okay. I don't know, Jordan, if I can share, this is a video. Um, I just want to kind of speak from the heart about, um, how much this company cares about helping people. And we actually operate as a 501c3, a private foundation. Um, the goal for us is not to, it's not to make money. It's to really just help people live better lives. And I feel so passionate about helping people keep their money, keep their hard earned money. I believe in people. And I believe that when people work for their money, and can keep it and control it, they'll do good things with it. So I'm going to see if this works. You work hard. You give. You strengthen. You help. Your money is earned. And we think you should keep it. All right, so that's it. And um, I guess we've got some time for a Q&A. So as I mentioned, I'm not the tax guru here but um, I can answer any and all questions you have about the product that I have presented for you. And there's one other thing um, I wanted to mention is that there is a seven day money back guarantee on our product. So you're more than welcome to get in there and see what there is to offer. And yeah, so that's it. Awesome. Yeah, thank you, Catherine. Again, I wanna say congratulations as well. It gave birth a, a month ago to your fourth child, which is incredible. I, I don't even think I remember my name and I didn't even do anything um, the, the month after having any of our kids. Um, no, I, I think you, you kind of demonstrated what drew me to this platform initially, um, which is there's, there's kind of a, a missing piece and there's a missing piece. Number one of um you know, the education and everything that that you offer in terms of that. But 
even more so there's a missing piece of a lot of times with physicians, especially who go to tax people or, you know, CPAs, things like that. And the, they'll say, well, I'm a W-2, I make a W-2 and, um, you know, how can I lower taxes? And a lot of times the, the answer is like, well, get 10 to 99 income or kind of like you're saying, start a business, do something like that. But then it, it's left at that. And what, you know, Educational does is, is sort of walk you through that process among many other things. And, you know, again, we decided to focus on this really because that's the the highest yield um, in, in terms of monetary. The other stuff in terms of growth is, is obviously high yield as well. Um, but this really kind of walks you through that. And, you know, I've done that as well and had a lot of missteps along the way that I learned from, but this would have certainly helped a ton. Even like you said, when you were talking about the BOI, you know, we, um, my wife and I formed an S core for our business. And even just doing that, we spent a lot of money. We didn't have to, because we kind of did it through people who word of mouth and finding, okay, who can form the S-Corp? How, how do we do this and that? And we ended up, again, spending a lot more than we needed to. We retrospectively realized. Um, but even just the step before that of, well, how do you start a business? What can constitute a business, et cetera? Um, I think that's really helpful as well, because that's questions that I field a lot of times. Um, from people like, well, how can I create this 1099 income? How can I turn some hobby into a legitimate business? Is this is this legitimate to begin with in, in terms of for tax purposes and things like that? So it's super helpful and, and super relatable and understandable. And so I, I, again, applaud you for what you've created and think it is very valuable. Um, I'll open it up, I guess, if anyone has any um questions, uh, feel free to type them in the in the chat or just take yourself um, off of mute and ask. And I, I guess I'll start or, or kind of, you know, ask you to go a little more in depth um, about the platform and education itself. Like, you know, there's because like you said, there's different modules within it. Does everyone have access to those different modules at the, the same time to kind of progress through the ones that are most relevant to them at, at a time? Yeah, so um, everyone has access uh, according to when they signed up. So I felt it was really important to prevent overwhelm when consuming this type of technical content. And so it's presented to members on a week by week basis. So everyone will receive their week one content as soon as they sign up. And then as soon as they've been signed up for seven days, week two will immediately automatically like populate the site along with all of week one as well. So the longer you're a member, the more content you'll have access to. And it's really strategic to help you uh, implement these strategies rather than throwing the book at you, which would just be way overwhelming. It's built on a week by week basis. Okay. Fantastic. And then with the, like, um, with the tax part, is there their help in terms of actually kind of structuring how you're going to file your taxes and filing taxes and that kind of thing? Yes, everything you need to know um, will do for you. And it's it's my personal passion to make it as simple as possible. So I, like I said, I sometimes can glaze over when it comes to numbers. So if I can understand this and get excited about it, so can you. Um, and again, some people will may still choose to use a tax professional to implement and to prepare their return, but we've made it so that that's not necessary. It's really, it would be a personal preference. Um, if you still did want to save some time and not bother with it, you could hire someone, um, but all the resources and information needed to implement everything yourself will be provided by us in an easy to understand way. Okay, fantastic. Um, let's see, we have a question that just popped in from a tool. Are there just videos or are there live lectures? Is there someone to answer questions? Fantastic um, question to bring up a tool. Yeah, great question. Um, so at the moment we don't have live lectures, but we do have like very responsive customer service and um, 
assistance. So we've even done like one-on-one -on -one consultations to those who request it. Um, there are there is support when needed. Uh, it's our goal to uh, make this available to as many people as possible and keeping our costs down. So we've created um, videos, but also like you saw in my presentation, downloadable worksheets um, to help you minimize the number of questions you would have. Um, but there will always be um, email access on any question you may have and a real person that can that can help you through the process. Great. Um, any other questions from anyone in the chat or otherwise? Oh, here's a good one. Why does your company favor S-Corp better than LLC? Yeah, it's just, I mean, again, I'm not the tax expert, but it comes down to LLCs are good, I believe, for um, like some capital investment companies and um, specific to, I think, if you're in the legal profession, there are a few rare instances where LLCs are better, but in general, S-Corps, um, they allow you a layer of protection, which is very helpful. And when it comes to deducting expenses, um, there's just a lot you can do as an S corp. Yeah. And that's, we've, uh, you know, our, as we call them LLC, like an S corp is a designation of an LLC almost that, um, and that's what we've elected for ours as well. Um, just cause it gives that flexibility and protection that Catherine mentioned. Um, it also allows you in terms of like, again, taking some of your earnings and, and using them in, uh, as retirement contributions and kind of like um, cash balance plans and things like that, that gives you flexibility to lower your income, your taxable income, um, while still being a pass-through entity. And then C cores are the other kind of option, which are are not really good options except for huge large corporations, and um, uh, just because you kind of get a double taxed with those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, one other question that I've received is like, how much of a time commitment is required? I know that we're talking about education here and, um, uh, most people listening probably have a solid memory of when you invested in education and taking a lot of your time. So I've, I've tried to design this to where you wouldn't need more than an hour a week to invest time-wise into turning yourself from somebody who doesn't even know how to read their own tax return to someone who has like an all encompassing knowledge of taxes and how they can work for you. It's helpful for anyone. Um, it's again, it's like that week by week system where new. Awesome. Knowledge. Mm -hmm. All right. Fantastic. Um, are there any last questions? Uh, Catherine, uh, great, uh, President uh, Jordan, uh, awesome man that uh, you know that you do these. Um, uh, Catherine, uh, just just a question back to the LLC. The LLC stands for limited liability, right? So you do that to limit liability, right? So in case you get sued, like you have property, right? I mean, you know me, Jordan. I do the surveys. I'm not going to get sued for like you know messing up on a survey, right? So it's stupid for me to form an LLC when I have no liability, right? Isn't that the main, it's not really a tax benefit for an LLC, but in case you get sued, that somebody gets hurt in your business or when you're conducting business, right? Yeah, so the S Corp offers that as well. So I, I don't know if Jordan wants to chime in as well, but um, there there's protection offered from an S Corp as well. I think, are you Ricky asking like, is it is it really worth, forming it at all in that situation if you're doing like just the the survey work or something like that right yeah so just doing like sole proprietorship versus llc um you would only choose llc if you were going to get sued or there's a case you get sued so then your creditors or whoever's suing you will only go after your business and not your personal assets they won't go after my taxable account that's under my name they'll go after anything that's under the llc right that's the only benefit from choosing an LLC versus a sole proprietorship. Whereas if it's a sole proprietorship, they can go under my personal assets, say the, the property is under my name, a sole proprietorship, not an LLC, then the lawyers will be like, oh, somebody like broke their leg on your property, we're suing you for millions, let's go after your taxable account, right? Whereas LLC, 
they're like, oh, I want to go after your taxable account. Well, it's not under, it's under my LLC. It's not under my sole proprietorship. So the, the lawyers can't get you, right? That's the main benefit of LLC. That's versus the sole main, yes. Right? And, and kind of going in the reverse direction, though, I think is the biggest thing. Like if, um, like, let's say for the surveys, for example, again, like they're not going to, the survey company shouldn't sue you or something like that, or, you know, Dude, I hope not, <laughs> but yeah, exactly. But the other way around of, of kind of like, if let's say a patient does or something like that. And again, in, in the extreme case that there's some like out of pocket settlement or, or something like that, that then they couldn't go for that income as well. So if you're as the, um, as the, uh, uh, business and stuff grows, then it becomes more and more favorable to to do that just to protect the business itself. Yeah. And I just want to point out that um, there's there's sole prop and there's S Corp and there's LLC. So a sole prop, like you mentioned, it it doesn't protect you as a business. It would it's just kind of a personal thing that you do on the side. And that's a really easy way to set, like, there's not much involved for setting it up. So sometimes if someone's forming a business at the end of the year and there's not much time to go through all the steps of setting up through your state, um, we would recommend a sole prop, but an S corp has more steps, needs to be filed with your state a little bit with federal, um, but it does offer protection in it. An LLC does as well. So um, just wanted to clarify there's difference between a sole prop and an S corp. Uh, cool. Uh, I had a, another thing. Uh, so how advanced does the course go into, um, I actually had a suggestion from another tax person about, oh, like, you know, with my 1099 income, I can make a defined benefit plan and um, you can declare a loss because you're, there's no way you can fund a defined benefit plan and that could be taken off. Uh, you can declare a loss in your business. I mean, something very complicated um, also went into conservation easements and things like that. Um, does it go into sort of those gray areas uh, or more advanced areas, or is it more just strictly, hey, you know, these are the time tested, not gray areas. You know, the IRS is not on the IRS hit list. Um, uh, does the course like sort of stay with the sort of basic, or does it go into sort of things that are more advanced? Um, this is the most comprehensive, deep program. I mean, if you call it a program platform, um, seen by my my tax team. So they, I mean, we're talking deep CPA level knowledge, um, scouring the internet for what is and isn't out there and finding a lot from really dull, dry tax books that hasn't been presented yet. So yes, it does go into what you, everything that you mentioned plus more. So I can't, um, I can't praise my, my team enough for their level of, uh, commitment and dedication and just how much this encompasses. So it, it's very comprehensive and it's there's lots of back and forth between them and me to make sure we're not overwhelming um, our membership, but um, to ensure that it is as comprehensive as you can find anywhere. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. And thank you, Catherine. Um, if people, Catherine, do want to find more information or maybe get in contact with you, what's the, the easiest and most direct way to do that? Yeah. So you can email me. Uh, I guess I'll just put it here. Um, Catherine at educationa.org. Um, and then you can also find out more information on our website, educationa.org, um, about, about what we're about. But yeah, that's okay. my email. Awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Catherine. Have a great night. Bye.